When someone records mythical times on asphalt today, then it is often with a BMW S1000RR. The Bavarian Super Sports Machine is currently the Nonplus Ultra. But BMW can also be quite different. The GS is not only the best seller for the brand, but in many countries worldwide, the best selling motorcycle ever. An SUV on two wheels, so to speak. A motorcycle for all eventualities and every whim. Super Sports Machine and All Rounder together makes Adventure Sports. This is at least how BMW calls their new crossover bike. Or more precisely, the BMW S 1000 XR is called the Racing Enduro or Terrain Racer, whichever you want. But either way, with a dynamic 160 horsepower and generous ground clearance. It's home turf, rapid switch curves, and always with the option of being able to turn off onto a dirt road. Motorsport and adventurer genes determine the design. A noble upside-down fork is one of the fine ingredients of the sport SUV. The ergonomics are comfortable yet suitable for acceleration. It's actually something like an SUV on two wheels, but with a clear emphasis on dynamics and roadworthiness. Nevertheless, the thing which is most important for 99% of motorcyclists is that it's easy to ride even on a bad track. A gravel pass with a bike is of course quite outstanding, but it's not an enduro. Relatively large tank, adjustable screen, plenty of amenities. The XR is well equipped for the big tour, as well as for a fast corner ride. Versatility bring driving programs like Rain with reduced power or Dynamic Pro for professionals. The XR is not a bike like all others. The bike does not stand out in a single feature from the competition. But in the summer, its properties of dynamics and agility, as well as tour capability, mean this motorcycle is an excellent overall package. The XR does not have the typical duck bill at the front like the high-legged Travel Enduro GS. The design reveals the contrary. Here, enormous power slumbers under the sharpened cladding. Braking system and chassis are clearly geared towards high performance. The performance of the XR shows this bike is hungry for speed, but has enough torque for easy terrain. A major challenge in the design was the balance between sports and everyday life. I can explain it best, I would say in the tank area through to the mask area, how we really tried to take the character strengths of the individual segments. To pull the bow toward the Supersport segment with the fly line, it was important to me, the volume in the Supersport. The volume of the tank is so important and is located between the legs that you again take that, hold it, express more compactly and play through in this fly line that goes up in front of the mask. And then in the mask then just to play again with the theme of the Supersport character via the split face. The split face which is so striking that was brought first onto the market with the double R was reinterpreted here and to come again to this arch which was stretched here, the bill which was so concise in the GS, I wanted to see you again here, only just reinterpreted, much reduced. The bill for the GS is extremely distinctive, because it's also important for the vehicle, for this segment, for this roughness. Here I just wanted to represent the beak, but much more sublime, much less obvious. And that's actually the beautiful thing. One got more involved in the complete process from the initial design from the first sketch, the start of production. The rival Ducati Multistrada probably followed the same philosophy in the design. Similarities are neither accidental nor denied. The high revving one liter four cylinder is great fun. Snappy and powerful sound, yet powerful already at low engine speeds. The translation is extremely short, however, sometimes one searches in vain for a seventh gear.
But this does not alter the enormous fun that the XR brings, especially on mountainous roads where it forgives a lot, even when braking. ABS Pro is a valuable support for the driver and has a distinct safety advantage. Although the physical driving limits cannot be redefined, but motorcycling is safer. Then a curve and the radius narrows. The speed is no longer appropriate to the radius. This situation represents a major challenge to the rider because he has to brake and simultaneously adjust the skew of the radius. ABS Pro also provides here for high braking and driving stability with optimal deceleration. And this delay must often be enormous in a 0 to 100 sprint in only 3.1 seconds. On asphalt, the tires offer very good adhesion and transfer the powerful forces without complaint. One can change gears confidently without clutch, all very easy. But how do things really look like on loose surfaces? Exactly like its manufacturer says, the S1000XR is not a real dirt bike. But spring deflection, ground clearance and driving programs allow for an easy off-road trip on gravel. After that, both bike and pilot feel really good again on solid ground. But even here, the XR does a lot. Passages, which one would avoid with a super sports machine, are also fun, an advantage especially on tour. Now I drove a while with the S1000XR and can say it's not an absolutely new type of motorcycle. There's been something like this for a long time. Sport and adventure, Ducati, Triumph and Kawasaki. But I think it's a real asset to the BMW model range. And I don't think it will take anything away from the GS. The GS is uniquely suitable for off-road terrain. This here, for example, is suited to still ride in the old town of Talamanca reasonably comfortable over the cobblestones. The XR is really like the BMW X6 on two wheels. One can say a little more comfort, you sit more comfortably and higher and have ground clearance, and this is for sporty drivers who are looking for an all-rounder, but then those who want to heat up the highway again, and that probably properly. And anyone who is interested to some extent in this type of 160 horsepower comfort bike should perhaps try it.